This doll is in really rough shape. This was the doll that had the mold on it. And this one has no hands or feet. Um, they were almost completely chewed off, so I took them out to look at the size. I was thinking of replacing them, but what I'm going to do is just take off the head because the hair is in pretty bad shape. Too, it's really really frizzy so I'm just gonna boil wash her hair and take off her head at the same time now I did heat this in the microwave it is boiling hot and I bought this from Macari the video is not up on my page it's actually on one of my other channels And I'm going to just to be getting her hair off. I, the um, Disney dolls are really well made and her head is super hard. So it's going to take a few dips to get that done. The tab did come out and the tab wouldn't come out before. So we are making some progress in getting this head off. You do want to be careful while doing this because the water is super hot and sometimes when you're doing this you need to use an oven mitt to take off the head. <laughs> yes, I've gotten water everywhere, but we're, we're just going to get this head on. Look, the, there was an extra tab on that as well. Um, the body is a little small, but it kind of works. It's about the same color, so that's good. Um, this was the skating version of that doll, but she couldn't skate. She couldn't even walk. I did have another version of the skater doll, which I think I gave away to the kids who take over my channel. Because they, I, I like them to have their own versions of my dolls. So that when I go over to babysit or hang out with them and we want film, they have the dolls that I use on my channel as well. Get her hair all done. Um, the frizzies are not coming out of her bangs, so I believe I'm just going to pin that back with some rubber bands, some clear ones. And then I'm going to fishtail braid her hair. To fishtail, fishtail braid hair, you take two sections. And then you take from the outer corner and put them in the inner corner of each side. And then you go all the way down. It's a little hard for them because her hair is still wet. And her hair is kind of short because this doll had the shorter up style. If a doll's hair is up, usually the hair is shorter. I do have a, another full video of doing fishtail braids. It's not very difficult. I put a dress on her and now she's completed. She's actually very cute and it works. It does make her look more like the teenager version of herself. 
which I don't mind just because she's fully articulated still. And the Disney head of this doll is the best. Now, with Disney, some versions I like better of different dolls and some versions I don't. But I do like Anna Disney version the best. I'm going to put this bow in her hair and then she will be complete. So this is Jolly Repair Video of Anna and a moldy body, which I cleaned up just so she could have it. Now I will be doing more repair videos because it's crafting season and I have a lot of crafts to do before next month. I actually only have three weeks. Jewelry, decorated shirts. I'm not sure about the decorated shirts though because I am still waiting for the decal that I'm going to put on the shirt. But it's a lot of crafts. Last year I showed you um, the items I won for and the items that I made for and got runners up. And this year I'm just going to basically be filming all the crafts to show you what I'm doing. And I hope you enjoy all of that, but it won't leave a lot of time for YouTube dolls because those are very involved. They take a good amount of time to film. But I hope you enjoy the repair videos too. And I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this video and can use it in your doll repairs.